Hey guys, welcome back again to another beautiful day. My name is Kayla. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ghana Police Service have just released a statement to the public and especially to the pastors and prophets in this country called Ghana. And I read, Police reminder on illegal communication of prophecies. Number one, a year ago today, December 27th, 2021, the Ghana Police Service drew the attention of the general public, especially members of the religious community, to the law regarding the communication of prophecies and edge compliance to the law to ensure continual security and the law and order in the country. Number two, we wish to commend the public particularly religious groups, for their cooperation over the period by being circumspect and conscious of the law and adopting legally acceptable means of communicating prophecies to those affected. Number three, this has contributed greatly in creating an environment where people are able to freely confess their faith without unnecessary anxiety and fear of impending harm or death. Number four, Ghana is indeed grateful to the religious leaders in particular and the religious community as a whole for their patriotic understanding of the situation. Number five, as the year 2022 draws to a close, we wish to once again entreat the general public, especially faith-based groups, to ensure continuous compliance with the law as it relates to the communication of prophecies. Number six, let us continue to remember that whereas we have the right to practice our faith in religion, freedom of worship and speech, this right must not be exercised in violation of the rights of others and the public interest. Number seven, as part of sustaining the gains made so far, the police service has adopted 27th December of each year as the Prophecy Communication Compliance Day. This day is being set aside to remind all of us to practice our faith within the confines of the law to ensure a safe, secure environment, free of anxiety generated from predictions of impending harm, danger, or death. Number eight. We wish to take this opportunity to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Signed by Grace Ansa Akrofi, the Chief Superintendent of Police Director, Public Affairs Unit. All right, so we all heard it. But Prophet Nigel Gezi, who is the leader and founder of Prophetic Hill Chapel, has said that he is not going to comply with the laws and the rules set by the president of Ghana and also the IGP of Ghana. He is going to prophesy on the 31st. That is tomorrow. <laughs> Nigel Gezi is above the law. <laughs> I don't even understand you. If you want to prophesy, go and create your own Omofia country and prophesy to them. You are not going to prophesy to any Ghanaian. For what I know, no, 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 no. You are not above the... <laughs> Nigel Gezi, <laughs> you better shut up your mouth over there. All right, so Nigel Gezi posted this on Facebook this morning. I don't really know what is his problem. Okay, I read. A nation without a prophetic word is doomed. An individual without a prophetic word is a disaster in waiting. Let a prophet speak by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Prophet Nigel Gezi. Nigel Gezi, you are not above the laws. And you dare open your mouth and give any fake prophecy. Any prophecy that comes out of your mouth is fake. And we know it, Nigel. We know it. We know you. There is no way you can come out and tell us that, that all the prophecies that come out of your mouth are either to cause fear or panic. There's going to be famine in Ghana. There is going to be death. There is going to be this. There is going to be that. How can we be sure that this is coming from God? We aren't sure because me that I'm here right now, I know that you are fake. You understand? So Ghana police is just saying, do not open your mouth and give any fake prophecies again. You have to comply with the rules set by Ghana police service. Okay? So if you dare open your mouth again and say any deadly prophecies that will come out of you, you have the Ghana police service to answer to. 
Prophet Nigel Gezi was interviewed by a radio station and he said that Ghana police service have misplaced priorities. And all over the history, you cannot underestimate the role of God in nation building. We understood that, that you can't underestimate the role of God in nation building. However, how are we sure that what comes out of your mouth is really or directly from God? We can't trust you. We were in this country when you prophesy, Ebony the singer is going to die through an accident. And we were in this country when Ebony died through an accident. So many people were wondering whether you were the one who killed her. You understand? Whether it was true, your work of your uh, occultic people who killed this lady. Today, you say this person is going to die. Tomorrow, another person is going to die. For me, I always bash you on Facebook. You know it. You have blocked me several times. I always say it as it is. That you are fake as hell. I intentionally came to your church some time back. It, it was just planned. I just wanted to know what you do. Whether you are really from God. And I went there and all you were thinking is, money, 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 bring money, bring money. You were just fake as hell. So what Ghana police said is specifically for you. If you open your mouth and give any prophecy here, we are watching you. You understand? We are watching you and just report you to Ghana police for you to be taken to jail. Because that is where you belong. Nobody, look, we don't need any prophecy. Period. We don't need it. Save your prophecy for your family members or your church members. Just tell your church members this is what is going to happen to them. Do not come out and tell the whole nation that this is and this and this is what's going to happen to you. Look here. You better shut up your mouth. You think that you are above the laws of this country. Then you are lying. Ghana police will deal with you very well. Ghana police, if you are listening to me, pay attention to this guy called Niger Gezi. Mm, this humanizer called Niger Gezi. Pay attention to him. And any prophecy that will come out of his mouth, Please get him arrested immediately. Nobody is forcing him to prophesy to us. We don't even need that prophecy for anything. Because all his prophecies are about death. Today, death. I don't know when he is going to die. Or he is not going to die. He is going to live forever. Niger Gezi, we don't want any prophecy. This 2022. We are entering into 2023. The, this law is just for you. So please, shut up your mouth over there. We don't need any prophecy. <laughs> We are sick and tired of this nonsense called prophecies in this country that causes fear and panic. So, Niger Gezi, shut up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye-bye.